Hello and welcome to Trash Park. This is Bardwaj, and what you're looking at here is the Lamborghini Urus S. Now this is going to be the standard or the starting model for the Urus moniker. And above this sits the Urus Performante. And in this video, I will tell you what the Urus S is all about and how is it different from the Urus Performante. So let's get started. So what you're seeing here is the Lamborghini Urus S, and it is decked in this blue color that is absolutely good and what happened to the urus uh, you know uh, brand is now the urus s is the base model or the starting model and above this sits the urus performante which you guys might have seen uh, you know uh, us going around the track on the dirt track and all that so that is a more performance oriented version what urus s is a little bit towards luxury but what is uh, now uh, it gets the same tune as the Urus Performante, so it produces uh, 668 horsepower from that 4-liter uh, V8 engine, uh, twin-turbo engine, and also with that, uh, it gets all the other suite of uh, Lamborghini features like six drive modes and also uh, your off-road modes as well. This is priced at 4.18 crore X showroom and has been launched today. And also, as I mentioned. Uh, this is a little luxury oriented version uh, rather than the Urus Performante which is a very um, performance oriented or track oriented uh, SUV. More or less remains the same. Uh, the Urus Performante is uh, much lower than this and is also 50 kilos lighter. Uh, but the whole uh, you know architecture of the SUV remains the same. It gets that same Y-shaped tail lamps and this uh, runs 23 inch alloy wheels. But 21 inch standard, 22 and 23 inch alloy wheels are optional on the Urus S and you can see the same side profile of the car absolutely looks very cool and you can see the uh, spoiler on the Urus Performante, you can see a more uh, aggressive looking uh, rear end and also on the front end. All these are carbon fiber on the Urus uh, Performante but here you get uh, all blacked out elements uh, and uh, in finished in gloss black. With that. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the 0 to 60 time is also not uh, that far off. It's just 0.2 seconds slower compared to the Performante. Uh, but what, where the major changes between the Urus Performante and the Urus S is, uh, the Urus S runs air suspension, uh, but the Performante gets steel springs, much more stiffer, much more focused towards the track, but this gets a air suspension. And you can see the uh, badge here, that's the Urus S uh, right on the uh, door sills right here and going inside actually uh, nothing has changed uh, everything remains the same um, on the Urus Performante you get a lot of uh, red uh, stitching and uh, this gets that white stitching decked in white and uh, let me go a little bit to the front and show you the front of the car as well and everything else remains the same here uh, even this uh, the entire layout and the entire buttons to switch uh, your different modes uh, the six different modes, all of which we can uh, you can see here, and there's eco uh, ego as well, which is individual mode, and everything has remained the same. It's the same car. Um, what um, Lamborghini has done is they have uh, uh, upgraded the standard model to deliver the performance of the Oru Urus Performante, but uh, what they have managed is uh, they have also managed to give a comfortable ride rather than a sporty uh, ride quality that you get from the Urus Performante. So that is the Urus S for you and uh, let us know what you think about the Urus S uh, when compared to the Performante and uh, do like and share this video and do subscribe to Drive Talk if you haven't done it already. This is Bharat Watch and that is the Urus S. We shall see you in the next one.